four, three, two, no. People that are like, oh yeah, the fees and blah, blah, blah. And that's why people don't tip. I mean, give me a break. Like, what do you expect? There's not gonna be fees on it. Someone's just, it's just magically gonna appear to your door. And I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, that's just a lame excuse. Oh, the fees, that's why people don't tip. Well, yeah, of course it's gonna be expensive. Go pick it up yourself, people. You know, like, unbelievable. But, <laughs> so yeah, that's my beef. You know, that's no excuse. Oh, yo, know, it gets so expensive with the fees and everything. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you how you're doing or anything like that. I'm not going to wish you a good day or anything like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to the video. Uh, glad you're joining in. i um, going to try to make it interesting today. I think it's going to be a tough one. I waited. Uh, started at 12. About uh, 12 20, first order came in. Nando's. Uh, it's 11 bucks, four and a half miles. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how busy it's going to be. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, thanks for clicking in and uh, let's get her going. Nando's to start the day. Nando's is never good. I mean, once in a blue moon, maybe. There's 11 bucks, four miles. We can get her done. It's so slow to start. I'm just happy to be getting an order, actually. 20 minutes to get one. I don't know how today's gonna pan out. We'll see. I don't know, I think that's it, one and only. I'm way east and I got a pause it to go back so it's gonna take me at least five minutes to get back. Just after one o'clock and it's slow, it's slow. So it gave me two orders that I denied both of them. They were both no tip. They were both big orders too with no, just cheap, cheap, cheap people, right? So I mean, it is what it is. You know, one was a big McDonald's order, probably $70, $80 in McDonald's. The other one was like, a Chinese food order and uh, yeah they didn't tip so we can't do it I'm sorry but uh, not gonna do it I mean I'll do the no tip little ones but not the big orders that are no tip no thank you so finally you know I got an order now it's two fruit teas from two different places going to the same place so 14 bucks here to go pick up some coffee and tea so we'll go grab these uh, it could be a rough day I'm thinking it could be a rough day if this is any <laughs> indication of what the day is going to be like, it could be a rough day. But, I mean, there's going to be tippers somewhere in there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't believe that you order, like, $70, $80 in McDonald's and you can't tip. I mean, what's wrong with you? Anyways, let's go. The Taiwan fruit tea here. And then I just got to go across the street over there and grab the Honolulu Cafe. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty scarce for orders. At least good ones. I don't know. There we go, Honolulu. Aloha. You gotta get a rainbow bowl, whatever that is. Thank you. really bright out now it decided to get sunny it's 146 so i mean it's been a while between orders i got aphrodite cafe nine items uh i was really paid you know first good one of the day so i i know there's some good ones on sundays so finally i got a good one uh i don't think it's been busy i don't think there's a lot of good orders so one came my way aphrodite nine items and then they added on a 750 papa john's i mean I was kind of hoping I was banned from Papa John's, but apparently I'm not. But 750 from Papa John's, pretty good. So we'll grab the Papa John's after, the Aphrodite first. Organic. We got the organic order, nine items. So I mean, organic's always expensive. Oh, let's go over to the thing, see if they have it. I don't know, I might have to pick up the Papa John first. Beyond bread. I wonder if they got some good donuts in there. I'm gonna walk by on the other side when I go back. Oh. 
Ah, pizza. Yeah. Bakery. Uh, just looks expensive. Double parked illegally. So I guess I make this pretty quick. Downtown. What is that? 40 stories? 50 maybe? Something like that. 25, 30 there. 15, 20 there. So yeah, we gotta, I don't know. I'd say this one's 35. Alrighty, so finally got an order. I'm hanging out downtown waiting for my orders to go back. I wasn't gonna leave downtown without an order, so it's been about 20 minutes. It came up with Memphis Blues, one Elvis platter, and uh, catering bag required, so it must be a ton of pop barbecue. On, pop off bus there, that's a tourist bus. It's all tourists on there. It's kind of cool coming downtown. I like it on Sunday. I can get parking, traffic's good. Nice mellow vibe on Sundays. There you go, tourists. The old Memphis Blues barbecue. It's a nice one. Alpha's platter. We got the library there. It's a public library. It's kind of cool. It's featured in uh, that Arnold movie where he's like, I can't remember the name of it, but. It's like the main headquarters in the Arnold movie. Uh, I don't know. Oh, what is it? Uh, the one where he's got the clone. I don't know. But yeah, so that's the library. We got the Memphis Blues right here. And we're looking pretty good on this order, I think. Um, probably about 25 bucks. Four. Three. Two. No! Oh, okay. It's here. It's not fast. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. A Richmond. A Richmond. Oh. Oh, that's not good. The door shut weird. It bounced when it took off. Yeah, I don't like this thing. It's got the handprints. Someone got stuck. A little kid stuck in here. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, no, 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 we're gonna go seven one. I should have just uh, paused it after that last delivery. They had no frills, 15 items shopping for 14 bucks. It was going pretty far too, like five miles, but I mean, that takes a long time to shop 15 items. I mean, it's okay, but it's just like, it said it was high pay, but you know what? I don't want to do your shopping. So I'm just going to take an hour break and then be back at 420. Started back up at 420. Not 10, what was it? 12 minutes or something. It's 435 now. I'm over at the Kins Market, the farm market. I got to shop for 18 items. Should be pretty easy. And so I'm getting 23, 50 plus. I'm a preferred shopper, so I guess that's why I got this. Grab one of these wheelie baskets and uh, get the, uh, we'll start getting the uh, veggies and fruit and whatever else. Okay, I gotta concentrate. I'm really happy how this worked out. I got my box of veggies. There's only 40 bucks. That's a lot of veg. So, I mean, good prices in there. <laughs> Rate it. McDonald's here, so uh, when I complete this one, I might get nuked at the McDonald's. We'll see. Hopefully, they got a good one queued in for me. If not, it'll probably be Donnie's. Twenty after five. Big order came in. Uh, yeah, so I got a good one, but it, I mean, I was pretty far from the store, so it's like four miles total to deliver it. I'm gonna get thirteen bucks, but it's like six pizzas, so I mean. They should have tipped more, but it's still good. And uh, maybe it'll go up a couple of bucks to 15 or something. I don't know. It didn't say it would. It just said 13. But uh, yeah, you know, whatever. I don't think it's that busy. It's never that busy these days. Um, but, it, you know, it would have been nice if they would have tipped a little more, but it's fine, you know. We'll get this. What? What's going on? 
Uh, <laughs> we'll get this one delivered and we'll get going. Yeah, they're always ready. Five pizzas and a cheesy bread on the oven there. Hopefully they tip 10 bucks, I would hope. That's my hope on this one. That's all I asked for. That's always a good one, right? Alrighty. Molten sake. It's a big order with low tip. Good old Hibbert. And it's not even ready, I bet. Alright, uh, I have to order that. This is uh, 5.53. I'm at the Molten sake. And yeah, it's another... It's another bad one. It's another bad one. Fourteen dollars, seven and a half miles. Large order, but it's Hibbert, and Hibbert doesn't understand how to tip. I don't know why, but uh, he tips nothing. So I mean, but I can't deny it because I've denied too many lately. So I got to take it. It's trying to rummage me up good orders, but the customers—they're not cooperating. They're not cooperating. On the streets, classic rock is KISM. <laughs> Like quarter after six now. I'll get rid of this one. No, I'll be happy to get rid of this one. They got a lot of money. I got shopping. I denied one, and uh, it was really bad. And then now I got shopping. Eight dollars for three items. So I mean, Is uh, I don't know, <laughs> DoorDash is working me a little bit today, so I've had to deny a few more than I would like to. That's gonna lead to me having to take more in the future. But they finally hooked me up Kitchen Dada 13 items for Louise, um, $9.25. I bet it goes to 20 something, that's just the way it feels on this one. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens for the rest of the night. But uh, just as long as I can make 100 on the dinner, then I did 100 for lunch. I need 200 on the day. That's what I need to do. As long as I can do 200 on the day, it's going to be successful. And it looks like that's going to be possible with this order. So let's go in. It's ready in two minutes. <laughs> Guy's losing his mind. All right, let's go. City market, we got a little bit of shopping. It's uh, nine items, mostly vegetables. Vegetables. I love this building. I'm sure the, it looks like the places at the very top are like really, really high end and huge. And from what you can see from down here anyway. This building over here is where you gotta deliver. And then one more to take me back, I'm thinking, and then that'll be the night, because after eight o'clock it pretty much dies out and it's 7.30, so. orders are in it took about 25 minutes to get the order I just waited downtown until it gave it to me and it told me to come back to roll sake bar and uh, 10 75 I think it was plus and I got to go back town town with it so maybe there'll be another one to come back I might have to get some shawarma to take home a little rice and chicken it said it was right this is a cool hotel it's an old like heritage building and then they built a whole new hotel on top of it it's so cool. They're coming down to meet me at the front door here. This place, yeah, it's called The Exchange. Sure, it's a billion dollars a night. Uh, yeah, I put an end to it. I put an end to that last one while. I was expecting that to be a little bit more. Uh, that was $180 in food. But, you know, $6 tip. <laughs> you know, at least they tip something. So that was a huge catering bag order. There was a bunch of other ones today too. The one to Hilbert and a few others that didn't really have big tips. So my, my big orders weren't really coming through for me today. That happens. It was just one of those days when people people that were ordering large weren't tipping. I mean, a lot of days it goes the other way and I get like maximum tips on those, but today didn't go that way. That's okay. 
still a really good day and I made over two hundred dollars so I'm not I'm not bitching. I mean, it's a good day, but that last one probably signified that I should probably end it, even though I think I could probably get some more orders, but there'll probably be some no-tip or some bad ones in there that I don't want to get upset, so um, good way to end it, and I want you all to have a great day. There. I can't believe they're lining up for a $10 ice cream cone. Wow.